this time we present to you the 2015-2016 Cadet Corps.
right fingers. This is our 10th uh, year, or 20th change of command, our 10th year for the unit. And I just want to say thanks to everybody because we couldn't do it without you. Without the support of the school board and the school administration, uh, all of our community members, parents, students, uh, it just wouldn't happen. So thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate it. I'd like to introduce our outgoing command, Rafael Temple. But no worries, I am leaving you in great hands. I know Krista and I are going to do a great job. I just want to thank all of you guys for your support this past semester. We've had some great times, and I just want to thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the new commander and vice commander will be promoted to their new ranks before they assume command. First, we will promote our next commander. Cadets, attend what? Will Sergeant and Mrs. Hanley please come forward? Attention to orders, Cadet Hanley is hereby permanently promoted to the rank of Cadet Major, pursuant to her appointment of the Cadet Corps position of Cadet Group Commander. PHS Air Force Junior ROTC AZ-2063, effective the 2nd May 2016. Signed, Lieutenant Colonel Will Kemper, Senior Aerospace Science Instructor, AZ-2063.
Soldiers often carry staffs or standards to battle to identify them as a unit. Throughout military history, unit colors have marked the position of the commander on the battlefield and served as a rallying point. While attacking a rally on the battlefield, soldiers would follow the standard of guidance of their leader, most often found at the forward edge of battle. In more recent times, the colors represented not only the heritage and history of the unit, but also the unity and loyalty of its members. The colors are the commander's symbol of authority, representing his or her responsibilities to the organization. Wherever the commander is, there are also the colors. The passing of the unit colors represents the transfer of the authority and responsibility for the unit from one commander to another. I relinquish command. Lieutenant Colonel DeCumber is passing the flag to Cadet County, signifying the trust and responsibility that the school board, Prescott High School, and the Cadet Corps are entrusted to her as a 20th Cadet Commander of PHS Air Force Student ROTC AZ-2063. I assume command. Congratulations, Air Force Student. Hi, 
I will now administer the cadet oath to these newly appointed leaders. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. I serve the Do solemnly swear that I will devote my efforts at all times. Do solemnly swear that I will devote my efforts at all times. To bring credit to the core, the school, and the community. To bring credit to the core, the school, and the community. I will always conduct myself in accordance with standards of high moral conduct. conduct. I will always conduct myself with standards of high moral conduct. And the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. And the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. I will respect at all times officials and teachers of Prescott High School. I will respect at all times officials and teachers of Prescott High School. And the laws of our state and federal government. And the laws of our state and federal government. I will strive to improve myself in mind, body, and spirit. I will strive to improve myself in mind, body, and spirit. And I will work to the best of my ability to improve our school. And I will work to the best of my ability to improve our school. And in order to leave it a better place to learn and grow.